Hello internet, this is my first time making a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel video. I've just played this game for like 14 days since it was on iPad. But here we are talking about getting to Plat 1 in like 2 days. I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! for like around 7 or 6 years ago. And 6 Samurais were one of the decks I used back then. I mean back then we can even have 2 gateways in it. But there's less stuff that we can special summon. There wasn't even like m monsters back then. Pendulum monsters just came out and it was kinda shitty. And the uh, Synchro Xi'an was pretty much the best thing you could get. So that was the little history of me on Yu-Gi-Oh. I come back knowing nothing. As you can see most of my gems were free gems. So I really don't want to waste them on fun decks. And the decks that I used back then were the E-Heroes, the Sexams, and I think an Asian Machine Skill Drink deck. So I looked up my favorite decks on YouTube and saw these Sexam decks from Emma. So here is her original deck and I made some changes to it. And here's how mine looks like. So 90% of it pretty much looks the same, except I took out some monsters that I think were too slow. She hacked the arc, but I put in the savage dragon. Also, I had more equipped spells for Isolde's effect, though most of the time one is enough for getting the tuner out. I've watched a few times of Emma's video, but I had to figure out the combo myself because she didn't explain anything in her videos. So here's how, for a 6 stamp full lockdown. There's a few key cards in this deck, the first two being Gateway and Isolde. If either of them gets negated, you can just surrender, unless you want to try it next turn. But if your opponent still gets any negate next turn, then it's done. Basically, you get out either Battle Shogun or Isolde out first. It really depends on what's in your hand. If you have a third special summon like Kizan or Grandmaster, or like dojo, then you're mostly good, even if your opponent had an ash in hand to net gate anything, cause my dad mainly focuses on draws and stacking up counters. Most of the time it's better to get out the shogun first, but if you only have two cards left in your hand and both of them were essential, meaning there are kizan or grandmaster or like a uh, bamboo sword, it's better to get uh, isolde out first to get a free hand. Also, if your opponent have an ash in hand, they'll usually take the bait and throw it out. Even if they negate the first event, you can still use the second event to special summon a 6 samurai from your deck. With that, you could combo the cursed bamboo sword event and then get another bamboo sword from your deck to your hand. Basically, deck compression. With Isolde's effect, you send one cursed bamboo sword to the graveyard to get the one star tuner. Or you can send three equipped spells to the graveyard to get Hasumi. I will only get Hasumi if I have red or blue in the graveyard. Now, if you have secret 6 Sam in your hand, you can even special summon that for free. If you have a red or blue on board, you can save it for later use. Or if any one of them were in the graveyard, you can special summon it with Hasumi to get the red and blue loop later. Also, you get to stack more counters if you only have a gateway on the field. Having less than 2 spells to get the counters really slows you down a lot. Another tip here is if you have either the 6 Sam Dojo or United, always use the United if gateway is not on the field. And always remember to take counters off of United first if gateway is on the field. Your bot should have at least 2 monsters right now, 1 Isoda and 1 1 star tuner. Then you can get the battle shogun and get the gateway and start the free summons. Get the Kizan now with the gateway effect, with any spells that has 4 tokens on it. Or if you don't have a spell with 4 counters already, special summon the Kizan from your hand to one of the corners that battle shogun is pointing to. And then you should be able to get it with the gateway. At this point, if Isoda was already used and in the graveyard, you can use two Kisans to special summon the XYZ Shadow of the Six Sam to the corner of Battle Shogun to get extra tokens and preparation for the next Link monster. There should be a one star tuna on the field. You can synchro summon the Xi'an as the anchor for Kisan and Grandmaster. The Battle Shogun will be used as material later on. 
The next one will be Skull Dread, a link 4 monster and it will need 4 material to gain the last event of drawing 4 cards and then returning 3 cards back to the deck. You can pull all red and blues from the deck before special summoning it to compress the deck even more. Because once you special summon, the drawing effect happens immediately. And then you can keep whatever that push counters on and return the rest back to the deck. Then you can special summon either a red or blue with the skull dress event. You'll need the red and blue loop for the next free link summon. Now that we're done with Skull Dread, we'll use it as a material for Upper Loser. We're using the Skull Dread with 1 red and blue and 1 Kizano Grandmaster for maximum attack and 4 negate. From now on it's safe from Nibiru, even when you have no dojo on board. If Nibiru comes before Upper Loser, as long as there's a dojo or anything like Monster Reborn to get another anchor back on board, we can start the loop back again. After that, get the red and blue and Kizan back on board to get a black luster soldier if there's enough counters. Otherwise, go straight for Gossip, Shadow and Rongo. Your bot should have at least one Apollosa with max attack, one Senk Xian and one Rongo at least. If you have at least two continuous spell on board other than Gateway, you should be fine getting everything in the first turn. After summoning Gossip Shadow with all 3 reds and blues, you can finally get Rongo with 2 Kizans, and then put the Gossip Shadow on Rongo to get 2 turns of full effect. And now finally the last monster. If you have Dojo on board which you most likely will have at least one, get the 1 star tuner with it and get a Kizan with it. There you have your second Xian. But you simply can't get the second one when there's no dojo. 99% of my opponent surrenders at this point. Some will set a monster and some spells and traps down before they end the turn. But that's basically it. Meticulous and limitless While others out there spitting shit Got hits up on the charts and sit I see why other artists quit Cause people don't reward your shit They love to hate but hate to live Society you swing and miss And honestly I get it Promise me you won't regret it Wasting energy forget it Don't look back who wanna get it Bite the bullet just a bit Bite your tongue and don't say shit Make your actions hard to miss Be a legend not a myth yeah. It's obnoxious that I'm conscious Rapping honest as promise Try to harness As an artist stay modest It's a long quest I will not quit till 10 Thousand people going off when I drop this. I gotta make it now. Swear to God, I'm breaking out. Swear to God, I'll take a bow. Send the stage with the crowd. Cause I got it figured out. I'm just honest and I'm loud. Saying modest, but I'm proud. No, I never had a and doubt. Just like yeah. a soldier, I keep on moving forward. Always getting closer. Marching till it's over. And just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward. It's getting closer I'm marching till it's over Just like a soldier Getting closer, I'm marching till it's over.
I keep on moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching till it's over Right. 